Report. March is recognized as National Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. And today, cancer survivors and advocates are gathering on the National Mall for a display to represent those who will be diagnosed with this disease. News Force Derek Ward is live on the mall with more details about this event. Derek, good morning to you. Good morning, Millet. Well, what you see behind me are the flags. That's this display starting to take shape. They're going to do 27,400 flags, and that will signify all of the cases that will be diagnosed this year, but also all of the chances for prevention. Take a look. This is what it looked like last year. There are going to be even more flags this year, and they want to raise awareness about colorectal cancer and the fact that it's affecting more young people than ever before. As a matter of fact, it has now become the first leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. And we talked to one of the organizers here about the importance of that message. Take a look. There's an aspect of lifestyle and prevention, but there's also knowing what your signs and symptoms are and having physicians listen to their patients. I think that step alone could help our early age onset patients. We want everyone in Washington, D.C., if you're available, rain or shine, we'll be out here. We have 24, 27,000 flags that we have to put out over the next two days. So Saturday and Sunday, we'll be out here um, putting in flags and, and we could use the help. Now, this disease claimed 50,000, more than 50,000 lives last year. And some of the notable people that died from this are Kirstie Alley Pele and Chadwick Bozeman. Uh, later in the week, they're going to be lobbying some members of Congress. Some survivors will be here to also help get that message out and make the most of this month. We're live here on the National Mall, Derek Ward News 4. Back and to I know you. one of Chad's, I mean, I know Chadwick Bozeman's widow is also set to be on the program today as well. Thank you so much, Derek.